Hello and welcome guys, my name is Thomas and this is yet another free and open source software project that I'm going to introduce to you and this is called Tmux, it's the Terminal Multiplexer. Well, what is a Terminal Multiplexer? It multiplexes a terminal. Um, yeah, so it's a very nifty tool, it's one of my favorites in all time of free and open source software history. And why is that? Well, it's very good for your workflow. Uh, if we look at the screenshot of the tmux.sourceforge.net website, we can see how people have divided their workspaces. In this one, you can see that someone has different tabs according to what he, she, it is doing, and also different uh, workspaces which are uh, divided in half or even less than half for doing different things. And uh, the cool thing about Tmux is that you can really customize it. Like uh, it's really tailored to you, and that is quite nifty. So I connect to a lot of SSH systems, so Secure Shell and remote systems. And uh, well, yeah, I also use it a lot on those because it's also successor to screen. Um, it, it allows you to have background processes or, you know, have your work uh, basically backed up, sort of. So basically when you lose a connection, you can just reconnect and attach to the session rather than, you know, stopping the program, you were locked out, oh my gosh, you had to wait until the session popped out and stuff like that. But no, uh, with that, it's really, really, it's really, really nice. Now, I don't know much about Tmax, to be honest with you. I just use it and work with it, and I know a bit on how to work with it, but I'm not the Tmax expert. So if you want to be the Tmax uh, expert, just head over to the Tmax website or to the Tmax IRC, and yeah, chat with the people, uh, read the resources, and yeah. Well, moving right along, I want to show you this in the terminal. And this is my terminal right here. We need to send to this. And uh, yeah, so the first thing, of course, in order to test Tmux is to start it up. And here we have a Tmux session. It's typical that you have the green bar in the default configuration with uh, your PC name, the FQD and the fully qualified uh, domain name, which in this ca uh, case is uh, my PC name .fritz.box and the time as well as the date. And as you, as you might have been able to see, uh, the time automatically refreshes, which is quite awesome. And uh, yeah, so you can basically build your whole workspace in this, which means you could basically live all day in there. If you had just a CLI, uh, you know, kind of work, uh, you could live all day in there. It will help you out so much. It's basically i3 for the terminal, sort of. By that, you will understand what I, what I mean. Well, what can we do in here? As I've said, you can divide windows. In order to do something with Tmux, you have to hit a modifier key combination, which is in that case, Control B. You can always change that in the configuration, but by default, it's Control B. So we hit Control B, and then we hit uh, the double quotes on the German keyboard that is Shift 2. And yeah, it will divide stuff in the horizontal direction. We can do that as well uh, vertically by basically go ahead, control B and uh, uh, basically percent, which is um, shift five on the German keyboard. And one thing that we can of course now do is with control B and uh, you know a, a, a directional key, we can basically go ahead and uh, switch between those workspaces. And what we can do as well is we can create new tabs and name these. To create them, we just have to hit uh, Control BC in order to create a new tab. And as you can see, we can switch around with Control BP for previous and Control BN for next. And of course, with the numbers, that also works. Uh, yeah, there we go. And as I said, we can name them, which is control B comma. And now we can say this, I don't know, this is a test or something like that. And the other one is called um, SSH and stuff. Oops. Just stuff, there we go. Now we've named those windows. So as I've said, I'm not the 100% uh, 
expert in this, but this is this, these are the commands I know. Another thing you can do if you weren't on Mac OS and wouldn't have bound your control key to stupid OS functions, uh, you could basically hold down control B and then use the, your cursor or the directional keys in order to um, move the size and yeah the position of these windows of these little uh, rectangular uh, spaces. Well, but that is basically it in a nutshell. This shouldn't be a tutorial, so if it was too quick, go over to the website and yeah, check it out. You can install this in most Linux distributions by going ahead and just you know use your favorite package manager or the package manager that comes with your distro, which in case of Fedora and CentOS is Yum, in case of Debian, Ubuntu, and all those offsprings is APT, and yeah, Arch is Pac-Man, you get the idea. In macOS, although, you would have to install Homebrew and then say brew install uh, tmux. And then you would have it like that. Now, what is this thing useful for? As I've said, you can, and I've shown, that you can divide your workspace like you want. And uh, this enables you to do stuff like, you know, open up an editor like Wim and then also opening up a uh, process monitor like Top and uh, probably, yeah, do some file operations in here. So yeah, everything's nice. That should work. And yeah, another little thing that I've said is you can detach from a TMAX session, which goes by hitting Control B D, and then you are detached, and you can just attach with TMAX attach or TMAX A, and. Now you're back into your session, so that allows you to uh, keep track on an SSH server, like let's say uh, you did an, a task like rebuilding a RAID and you had um, you know, a display going on of, on how far the rebuild is. You can basically detach from your TMAX session, or you don't really have to, but you can just close your session and come back, attach back to the TMAX session, and you were where you left off, which is rather neat for working with remote systems. So that's basically it for this little video. I hope you liked it, and I hope you will give, uh, give TMAX a try. So see you in another video. Goodbye.